Okay, so now we're going to calculate the energies of photons. And in this example, we're going to calculate the energy in joules for one photon with a wavelength of 525 nanometers. So let's just remind ourselves of a few things before we get started. The first is that here's our relationship. So the energy of one photon is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. Okay. So let's remind ourselves that's the frequency. This is Planck's constant, and the value is given there. So that's 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. Okay. The energy of photons is also related to the wavelength. So we have Planck's constant times the speed of light. Okay. And that's over the wavelength. And again, this wavelength is in meters. Okay, and the frequency is in seconds inverse or hertz. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we want to calculate the energy of a photon using the wavelength. So I'm going to write down that equation. Okay, and I like to label, this is, just brings attention that we're calculating the energy of a photon. And that's going to be equal to hc over lambda. Okay, now we have to plug in meters for lambda. Okay, so let's go ahead and convert our nanometers to meters. So 525 nanometers. And we have 10 to the 9 nanometers, 1 meter. Okay, so we're going to end up with 5.25 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug that in. So 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Okay, actually let's go ahead and corral this off so it doesn't get in our way. Okay, and so that's Planck's constant. We're going to multiply that by 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, the speed of light. Okay, all of that is going to be divided by 5.25 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay, so that's the wavelength of our, pho of our photon converted to meters, okay? And when we run all of these numbers in our calculator, we are going to end up with, after we cancel everything out, so let's go ahead and cancel out our meters. Let's cancel out our seconds, okay? So we're going to end up with joules, which is what we want, because we're looking for energy, okay? And so when we do that math, we're going to end up with 3.78 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay, so that's the energy of one photon with a 525 nanometer wavelength. 